Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela and today we'll continue at last. This time uh, the fifth episode of the sixth season. In the last episode, John Luck uh, ended up kind of making a team with Sawyer, helping each other. Um, John showed him a place where I think Jacob used to stay. On the walls there were names and apparently that's the reason uh, they all are there because they are kind of candidates for um, I think kind of to take his place and to after he's gone they have to protect the island and all that stuff um, in the flash sideways John is uh, getting married with Helen and he's in a wheelchair he was fired but um, he ended up being like a sub sub substitute mm. substitute teacher um and he kind of came with at peace with his uh, condition kind of being in a wheelchair and not hoping for any miracles and all that. So that was nice to see. Anyway, as usual, I got something to drink. The episode is ready to start. So without further ado, let's do this. Is the surgery he had on the island so how am i supposed to get anything done i can't even find his will papers everywhere Look, mom i'll come over in a couple hours and we'll find it together when did i have my appendix taken out you were seven or eight maybe you collapsed at school your father wanted to do the procedure himself but they wouldn't let him sorry i'm late thought i had enough time to go home and change after work don't worry about it okay then Your friends, Ford and Austin and Quan, they're not coming back, are they? No, probably not. I appreciate your honesty. I'm here because I need you. For what? We should probably get a pen. You're gonna have to write a few things down. What kind of things? Someone is coming to the island. I need you to help them find it. So... This is... his kid? It. Sir? Hooked up the cable in here so you can watch the Red Sox if you want. I guess they are divorced and they have shared parenthood. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, David. Why? We see each other like once a month. Can't we just get through it? Oh, he's the kid from 13 Reasons Why. Look, you told me these people think I have an infection. That they wanted to give me some mysterious pill that you instructed me not to take. And then you disappeared. What are you hiding from me? The pill was poison. They wanted me to kill you. Whatever it is they think happened to you, Saeed, they say it happened to someone else, too. Clear. How long have you been out here? Since you all left. How long ago was that? Oh, so she does remember. Yes. What are you doing? You know, looking, because I'm a big fan of temples and like history, Indiana Jones stuff. You shouldn't be here. Go back to the courtyard. And you can do what you want. Tell him you're a candidate. I'm a candidate and I can do what I want. Who told you that? Doesn't matter. Why don't you go back to the courtyard? What are you doing here, Hugo? Going through the secret passageway like you told me. I told you to bring Jack with you. So I have to bring him with you, Hugo. Okay, it's bad enough. You already made me write down way too much stuff. And I just lied to a samurai. Found a secret tunnel that leads out to the jungle. You found a secret tunnel? Well, Jacob told me about it. He said you and me have to go. I'm not going anywhere, really. I told him you'd say that, so he told me to tell you. You have what it takes. What did you just say? Can 
you have what it takes, you said you know what that meant. Where is he? What? Jacob. Where is he? Dead, but... Kind of dead, but... If you want to talk to him, he's where we're going, dude. So, look what I found. One of the men who tried to kill you. He was just pretending to be dead, but he wasn't. Now we get to talk to him. You want to talk to me about what? About where you're hiding, my son. Have you been out here all this time by yourself? No, I'm not by myself. We've got to get out of here now. It's OK. I know her. No, I know her. You have any idea what she's going to do to us? If we don't get out of here now, she's going to kill us both. I'm going to find Claire. Kate. I'm going back to beach camp. She might still be there. Kate, she's not up at the beach. The people at the temple said that something, something happened to her. Do they know where she is? I don't know. They didn't say. Come with us, and then we'll all go back to the temple together. Dude. Jacob said just you and me. She's kind of not invited. I'm inviting her. Jack, it's OK. Just go. How's David holding up? He was really upset at the funeral. He was? He didn't tell you. No. No, he didn't. Communication is not one of his strong suits. Well, it runs in the family. When you were David's age, your father was lucky if he could get more than one word out of you at a time. That's because I was terrified of him. How do you know David isn't terrified of you? Why would he be? I don't know, Jack. Maybe you should ask him. Did your father ever mention a Claire Littleton? <laughs> Time me before she comes back in. Why would I do that? Are you not listening to me? She's gonna kill us both. Loosen my ropes. And when she comes back in, I'll snap her neck. What are you gonna do with him? He's gonna tell me where they've got my baby, where they've got Aaron. We don't have your kid. You're lying, okay? You're I know crazy. you have we him. We never took you. Shut up. Claire, how do you know they took him? Okay, well, first my father told me, and then my friend told me, so I'm pretty damn sure. Your friend? Who is your friend? My friend. I'll tell you how I found this place. You were looking for water, right? No, I was chasing the ghost of my dead father. He led me here. That was his coffin before I smashed it to pieces. Why'd you do that? Because he wasn't in it. David, it, it's me again. Listen, uh, if I did something to upset you, I am really, really sorry. Uh, I'm going to drive over to your mother's house. I know that she's out of town, so if you are there, just, just don't go anywhere, OK? Whatever I did, I'm, I'm sorry. Hmm. Why'd you come back? I came back here because I was broken. And I was stupid enough to think this place could fix me. Where did this game come from? From the lighthouse? I don't understand. How is it that we've never seen it before? I guess we weren't looking for it. Your people took me to the temple and tortured me. No, we captured you because you were out here in the jungle picking our people off. Claire, wait! If I hadn't been able to escape from the temple, they would have killed me. No, you're not remembering Look, shut things shut up, right. OK? You got one more chance. I don't know where your damn kid is. She took him. Kate took Aaron. She took him with her when she left the island. He's been with her, with Kate. Just untie me. Too young to have this kind of pressure, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. It's hard to watch and be unable to help. Your son has a gift. How long has he been playing? I have no idea. I don't know. Oh. Stop. The mirror. I saw something in the mirror. Gone. These are our names. Sure. Turn it to 23 degrees. What? What is that? It's my house. It's the house I grew up in. He's been watching us. The whole time. All of us. He's been watching us. So who's at 108? I want to know why he was watching me. I want to know. So you're going to ask him right now. It doesn't work like that, I told you. He just 
kind of shows up whenever he feels like it. Are we supposed to do What does he want? I don't know, Jack! No! <laughs> It's always such a big deal to you. You used to sit and watch me practice. You were so into it. I didn't tell you I was coming here because... Afraid to disappoint? I didn't want you to see me fail. You know, when I was your age, my father didn't want to see me fail either. He used to say to me that he said that I didn't have what it takes. I spent my whole life carrying that around with me. I don't ever want you to feel that way. I will always love you. No matter what you do, it, in my eyes, you can... Never fail. I just want to be a part of your life. Jack broke your lighthouse, dude. Mission so unaccomplished. Whatever you said we needed to help get to the island is totally screwed. Well, I'm sure they'll find some other way. So everything you wanted me to do didn't get done, and you don't even care. Did you want Jack to see what was in that mirror? It was the only way for him to understand how important he is. Jack is here because he has to do something. Can't be told what that is. He's got to find it himself. I had to get you and Jack as far away from that temple as I possibly could. What? Why? Someone's coming there. Someone bad. Dude, we got to warn them. We can't warn them, Hugo. I'm sorry. It's too late. Whatever you're thinking. Why'd you say that Kate was raising Aaron? I was lying. But because I wanted to save his life. But you were right. The others have your baby. Aaron is at the temple. <laughs> I know because I saw him there. But you'll need me to get to him. What you said was the truth. If Kate was raising Aaron, I'd kill her. I'd kill her. Am I interrupting? John? Yes, he's not John. This is my friend. <laughs> Hooray for friends! So, that was a thing. Claire is acting a bit strange. Um, but from what I gathered, apparently, she also kind of died and was resurrected by that pull at the temple. And... I think things got not so well and that's why the others are so, um, I don't know if the right word is afraid, but I'm gonna use that word, afraid of Said, because they saw what happened with Claire. And now they don't want um, the same thing to happen with um, Sayed. But now, I don't know if it's like the loneliness that she felt three years ago. But again, if the others move to 74, she might as well travel to 74. Or she missed... Aaron so much and that's what got her a bit acting different than she used to because um, she's been killing people uh, because she thought the others took her child I don't know if it came from her or from the friendship with John, the fake John. But there is another thing. John, the fake John, hasn't been on island for that long. Maybe a few days at max. So how exactly she has this friendship with him? Hasn't that cradle like a skull of an animal pretending to be Aaron even if apparently she knows that is not Aaron but she's on a mission on a mission to to bring her child back even if she was the one that left him uh, but she's so I don't know upset that she 
If I say that if Kate took Aaron, <laughs> she would have, have to kill Kate. Even if Aaron, you know, it's well off the island. So I don't... I'm really confused about what happened with Claire. Maybe even the black smoke to get to the others and kill them kind of made Claire the way she she is now. She He fed her lies about Aaron just to just for her to do his kind of dirty work i don't know but i mean in a way she was right that guy did want to kill her but i don't know maybe the loneliness this whole time changes a person that much that she's able to do things that I personally, personally, never thought she would. Like killing someone so easily. Even if, again, she was right. But I don't know. That comment about Kate. I don't know. She she does seem seems quite different. I'm really confused. Should I believe the others when when they see that um, something went wrong with her, or it's just a loneliness and and that she misses Aaron so much that she went a bit over the top, like Danielle did. Claire now is using traps and all that. Jean got uh, hurt by her traps. As did Said with Daniel's traps. So, I don't know. And again, in, in Daniel's case, it was about her child as well. Of course, as a mother, as or as a father, as a parent, you do anything to get your kid back when you think that your kid is in danger. So maybe that's what happened with her. Um, also, Jacob showed up to Hurley, telling him that he has to go to this lighthouse and to bring Jack with him. At this lighthouse, there were a bunch of, a bunch of names. Some of them were crossed out. Some of them were still intact. And he gave him a specific number, a specific kind of direction to move the, the light, the mirrors. Um, I still don't know if it was for real. Because Jacob said that someone was coming and if someone actually is coming. Or it was just for Jack to realize some things. And um, that lighthouse is uh, quite special. It allowed Jacob to see what other people are doing, kind of. They were he was kind of surveilling him, them, all of them, because we saw. I think it was a Japanese temple, and it was about. Um, Oh, I forgot the name. Something with the the Japanese guy. It was kind of a church, I think. And um, Jack's house where he grew up. So Jacob knew all along what they were doing. And it didn't quite... Jack didn't quite like that. I'm I'm pretty sure he's quite confused about everything about why he's there and why is um, Jacob watching him and how is it possible because again he's quite a man of science more rational doesn't believe in those magical things and 
and miracles and destiny you know we all do our own destiny and we choose our own paths and seeing something like that it ca quite um, I don't know, turn his world over and his beliefs. Um, it was hard for him to accept that maybe it's his destiny to come to the island all this time. And finally he accepted that kind of. By seeing something like that, <sighs> must be hard. Even if the people at the temple think they are safe there and they put the ashes around so the black smoke can't enter, Claire and Jen are going there. Because um, Jen, having kind of no other way to survive, he lied to clear. He did say that Aaron is at the temple, so they are going there. Also, in the flash sideways, uh, Jack has a son. I'm assuming with Sarah, but they are divorced and they are do, uh, doing a shared um, custody. I think I said parenthood, but it's. I think it's actually shared custody. Sometime with Jack, sometime with Sarah. I know. It seemed like Jack kind of tried his best, but as the, at the same time he didn't, if it's possible. Um, he did try to be different than his father, but at the same time he missed some key points in in the life of uh, his son at the end i think he realized that he wasn't quite there he's not he is different but not quite different than christian was with him and uh, i think he felt bad that david had the same thoughts as he did when he was a kid and that really hit hard and um, by the end of it I think something improved in their relationship and you know they seem more or at least he seemed more at peace more happy that's why I'm afraid of because I think at one point they all kind of will become more at peace with themselves and with their lives. The problem is they will become more at peace, more happy with their lives in this flash sideways, which I don't think it's a good thing, honestly. Um, again, I think somehow by what Richard said, that they are all dead and Jean is dead, I think these flash sideways are some sort of purgatory um, place where they all come at peace and they will be able to move forward, which I don't know if I actually, if I'm right, I don't think that I would like that much. They did leave this, you know, they find this peace within themselves, but it actually doesn't matter because it's not real. And I think I'm gonna hate that. So, yay. Anyway, um, I think this is all I have to say about this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.